In this video, I am going to show you some modifications for Packer. First, I will show you how you can automatically install Packer if it is not installed. This is helpful when you are cloning your configuration on another computer. So it will automatically install the Packer. You don't need to go to the GitHub and go to Quick Start and copy this. It will just automatically clone the repository. So you can go to the bootstrapping section on their github page and you can copy this part and go to your NeoVim plugins file and paste it on the top. Here packer bootstrap and uh, this packer sync it does not work for me. So I'm going to remove this packer bootstrap equals. I'm going to do vim.api.nvim command pack add packer dot nvim and this will just automatically clone the repository the next thing i want to show you is how you can center the window so you can go to the top again and go to using a floating window and you can copy the second part here copy the ending curly brackets also and after this end keyword you can paste it and over here before the function starts you can just add another uh, curly bracket and let's save this file and start it again so let's do packer status and we have a centered uh, window with a single border if you copy this part then you'll have a window with double borders and if you use this then you'll have a single border okay now i want to show you some uh, key bindings for packer i'm just going to copy paste them and show you so you can just uh, copy them from your uh, from the github page of nfs neovim from scratch so you can go to your wikiki file and paste it at the end here we have some packer key bindings uh, it starts with p so the prefix is p so if you want these commands you you will have to press space and p then here first we have packer clean and packer compile packer install packer profile all these normal uh, commands are there so let's uh, reopen your and see if we have uh, these if i press space i have this packer here and if i press p we get this here so let's see our packer status shift s and one more thing if you want to do packer profile you will have to run packer compile first so uh, if i do space p and p uh, it will open this but it might not work for you you will have to do space p and c first and then you can do space p and p to see the um, how much time each thing takes okay so i think that's it for this video and by this time we have gotten a pretty good base configuration for NeoVim and you can add a lot of things and you can also remove a few things you can change uh, the key bindings uh, to your liking and that's it for this video if you like the video then like uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and that's it bye bye